What's up guys? It's Caleb. I have a new knife. Well, not a new knife. A knife that I need to show on camera. I've been needing to show on camera. It is one of the most expensive knives I've ever bought. It's a custom knife. And I've shown it on camera a couple times. So, one of you watching this has probably seen it in another video. But, uh, it's cool. And I traded it. And that's why I need to do a video on it. Because it definitely deserves a video. And it's right here. It's called the Brian Tai Tirade. This is a $600 knife. Brand new. I don't know what they go for used. Whatever the case, I traded it for a knife that I've been wanting for a long time. And we'll talk about that too. But for now, this is... This is probably... I don't know. Is this the most expensive knife in my collection? It might be. But uh, mirror finish on that blade. It looks stonewashed in the video. Depending on the lighting. Like, it looks stonewashed in person right now, too. With that, you know, you, you can tell it's got a high polish, but it looks more stonewashed with that high polish. And it's got, a, it's got a little bit of scratches. Nothing major. You can see right there. It's kind of hard to see under the lighting. It's also got it on the other side, too, but it's hard to see. Anyways... Titanium, button lock, I believe the blade steel is this RWL40 or something like that. You can look it up on Blade HQ. It's not really used too often. I'm not sure what it's comparable to, but I'm sure it's decent stuff. This has a compound, well this has, it's, it's a dual grind. So you see it's got this grind right here, and then you see the grind line, and then the rest of the blade. It's... It's interesting. I think it's probably the best looking blade in my collection. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, I think to a lot of people that aren't knife enthusiasts, like, it kind of looks, it almost looks like something you'd find at, like, a flea market. But if you're a knife guy and you know that it's a custom knife from Brian Ty, like, it's sick, right? You know, it's not, it's obviously not a mall ninja knife. But I think it, you know, there's a lot of cheap knives that kind of try to do this. Either way on bearings, super smooth, love button locks, awesome pocket clip, almost has like a Damascus look to it, just cool, the one thing that I didn't like is the hardware, really did not like that hardware is the screws keep coming loose and I can't tighten them properly. I talked to Brian Ty and he said I, I could purchase some torque screws online that'll fit there. But I just, I don't know, I don't really want to just throw basic Torx screws on this knife. Either way, you know, if you can just, if you can like drill a flathead down the middle to fit that, to fit that, you, that would probably be, be good. I just don't know how to drill a flathead that, that would be that small. Down the middle. Either way, they're cool looking. I just, I like pra practicality with stuff, especially like knives, you know? I don't want to have stuff that I can't tighten down if I'm going to like, you know, play with it a lot like this. <laughs> you know, screws do eventually come loose on most flippers especially. So I'll roll in some footage right now of what it looks like outside as far as the blade mirror finish goes. So you can take a look at that right now. It's pretty cool. And I yeah, it's weird when you go outside with that blade, it just looks it looks like a straight up mirror. It's the coolest thing and I wish I saw that on more knives. The thing is, is with that mirror finish, you don't really want to use it. And since somebody that, I bought this from a previous owner, he already used it a bit and so it has some scratches on the blade and the handle. And to me, this is an art piece, right? Like you don't want to use this, but then that kind of sucks because it goes against everything that like I want to, like I don't know, I, I do collect knives and I don't use some of them, but I want, I don't like to collect knives that I would never use, I guess, like, like that, you know, 
that are so perfect looking that if you cut one box open they'll get scratched up and they won't look as good. This this is one of those knives, right? You cut one box open, I think, and that mirror finish won't be the same. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that stone wash and that you know, he knows what he's doing, Brian Titus. When, but the guy that I got it from, you know, he said he cut one thing. And then that happened. Well, it doesn't look bad on camera at all, I promise you. I wouldn't be complaining about it. Looks a lot worse in person. God, you can't even see him. Also, it's a fingerprint magnet. <laughs> a lot of newer phones and just stuff in general, you know, that attracts fingerprints really easy. I just don't really like that so much. <laughs> Anyways, I'm being dumb. So, it's like $600, right, I said? That's what I saw on Blade HQ when they were available. I traded a really nice XM18 for it, I think, like a year ago. And it's, it's cool. I just, you know, if the screws didn't keep coming loose, and maybe if it didn't have the scratches in the first place from the, from the previous owner, it's got some on the bolster here, or um, just on the titanium scales. Nothing major. But, like, I want to show this off. I want it to be in our piece. And, I, you know, if I bought it brand new, that's probably what would happen. I don't, I don't think I'd be able to carry it on me. That is kind of the benefit of buying a knife that's used, too. Especially if it's one that you think you would probably have never carried. Like, if you buy it used and it's already been used a little bit, you, uh, you know, you're going to not have a problem carrying it because it's already... You know, the dude before you already had fun with it. Same thing with cars and whatever. Anyways. <laughs> for $600, I don't know. I traded it for, and I've got it coming in the mail right now. I've got to send this out today. This tirade. I traded it for a Hogue, like a mid-tech Hogue by Alan Elishwitz. It's the Beta 1. Throw in a picture. It's another button lock, and it's carbon fiber with one of the coolest blades I've ever seen, so I had to trade, you know, I couldn't trade this tie right away for something that didn't look cool as well, you know, like, <laughs> I was thinking, like, should I get another XM18? Should I get, like, a Daryl Ralph flipper or something? But no, I just, I, I wanted that Beta 1 from Alan Lichowitz for a long time, so we'll, we'll take a look at it on camera when I get it. But yeah, if you want one of these Brian Ty knives, you know, if you can find one used, I would say... Not used, like, used, scratched up or anything, but, like, if you can find one, you know, near mint for, like, less than 600, like, a lot less, <laughs> it's probably, it's probably be a cool knife to get. If you just love this design, you know, I will say, if you are on a budget, CRKT makes a nice $30 version. Seriously, <laughs> they do. Yeah. Just smooth thumb ramp up here, but your fingers lock in really good. A little bit of blade play. Just a little bit. But yeah, I just don't see this. When I hold this knife and I look at it, it doesn't look like a knife that wants to be used. It looks like a knife that, you know, you show off. <laughs> what do you guys think? Barrel spacers. A pocket clip, sick. I think that's the coolest thing about the knife, honestly, with the blade and the pocket clip. That's his, I guess that's Brian Ty's signature logo. You can see my camera in the reflection. <laughs> It's nice. If you have ever wanted one of these, or maybe you don't think it's worth $600, comment below what you think. Tell me what you guys think. That's something I harped on before. Yeah, the screws, they keep coming loose, and then that happens. 
and I just tried to tighten them up with some needle nose pliers but it's risky business so hopefully that gave it a pretty good look and uh, when I get that new beta one in I'll do a video on it so anyways you guys have a great day and um, yeah thanks for watching hopefully I'll get some more videos out soon I got a new job recent a while back for a airline so I'm gonna be traveling a lot and at the moment I have to go to Dallas across state lines for a while for like a month to train never had to do something like that before so I do want to make more videos though but life happens sometimes my birthday's coming up too it's October October 8th is my birthday but today's September 28th I think September 27th 28th <laughs> I don't know either way take it easy guys be safe